Pearl Harbor plunged the United States into war. For three years, gathering momentum with each small victory, our forces had conducted an offensive against the war-floated empire of the rising sun. Slowly, island by island, mile by mile, and then with ever-quickening sweep, the combined land, sea, and air forces of the Allies drove against the borders of that empire, forcing it back until late in 1945, only the bastions of the Japanese home islands remained to be stormed. Ahead lay the greatest campaign of all, invasion of the Japanese homeland and close-in, desperate fighting. That this fanatical enemy would not quit until her last fighting man had been driven from his cave and killed had been established time and again by bitter experience. The uranium gun weapon, or little boy bomb, was detonated over Hiroshima at an altitude of 1,800 feet, the height to achieve maximum blast effect. Three days later, the Fat Man implosion bomb was detonated over Nagasaki. In Hiroshima, 70,000 people were killed or listed as missing. Of its 90,000 buildings, over 60,000 were demolished. The implosion bomb dropped on Nagasaki took the lives of 42,000 people and injured 40,000 more. It destroyed 39% of all the buildings in the city. With a yield of 20 kilotons, similar to that of Trinity, this weapon would be considered a nominal atomic bomb and provide a blueprint for all future nuclear weapons. The principal 